You have to take chances in life. If you don't take chances in life, you'll never have the life God has for you. It takes courage to pursue your dream. Most people are not willing to pay what it costs. Do you remember when Jesus passed by the fig tree and cursed the fig tree? Did Jesus really just curse the fig tree because he was hungry? No, he cursed the fig tree because it broke the law. He cursed the fig tree because the fig tree was receiving and not giving. Why would you be in the ground and keep drawing and drawing and drawing and not expect to give nothing back to what's given to you? You're giving to what's giving to you. And any time you break the law, it will die. If you marry somebody and they keep giving to you and you don't give anything back to them, I guarantee you the marriage is cursed. Anything that feeds you, you must feed it. You bless what's blessing you. You help what's helping you. You pour into what's pouring into you. All everything operates that way. Of everything I've ever accomplished, I've been all over the world, I've got all kinds of trophies and Grammys. The, the thing I'm most proud of is that I took care of my mother till she died. It is by far the thing that I'm most proud of. And the reason is that I got to prove to her, I would do for you what you did for me. That is a wonderful thing. So I cleaned her sometimes and then fed her sometimes. And when I didn't do it, I paid to have it done to make sure that she was taken care of. Because when I was a baby, she washed me and I threw up on her and I peed on her. And she still loved me anyway because I want to feed what was feeding. It says something about your character when you give back to something that gave to you. Whatever you throw at your parents, your kids are going to throw at you. You cannot show disrespect and reap honor. You cannot show greed and reap prosperity. You feed what's feeding you. Some people are eating one place and sowing. How? In the world, can you be eating over here and sewing over there? How can I be your wife, washing your drawers, cooking your food, and hootie over there getting your money? If anybody was going to get a watch, it should have been me. If anybody was going to get a ring, it should have been me. If I give to you why would you not give to me don't you sit up in the restaurant and eat and belch and wipe your mouth and get them walk away like you got amnesia because when the fig tree did that God cursed it for it failed to produce on the level that it took simple you cannot draw 60% and produce on a 30% level some people are better takers than givers. Give on the level that you draw from. What areas in your life are you underfunding and over expecting? Are you expecting more out of a career than what you're willing to study for? Do you realize you can't come once a month and get what you need? my tree died it wasn't that I didn't feed it I just didn't feed it often I gave it water when I gave a chance and little by little the little green things just fell off and I had to hide it because it looked bad but the way it looked was a result of how I treated it don't overextend yourself beyond your willingness to invest don't take five dogs three cats in a poodle when you know you are not going to take care of it. Here's the key. Whatever you feed is going to grow. 
If you feed guilt, it's going to get bigger. If you feed fear, it's going to become larger. What if you spent that same energy feeding your faith, feeding your dreams? What are you allowing in your spirit? The people you're spending time with, the thoughts you're dwelling on all day, is that inspiring you or is it junk food? Feeding you guilt, causing you to compromise? A friend of mine was diagnosed with a serious illness. The doctor put him on a very strict diet. Now, I asked him if he was going to do it. He said, what do you mean am I going to do it? My life depends on it. Today, I'm putting you on a new diet. No more junk food. No more dwelling on thoughts of worry. I don't have what it takes. No more hanging around people that are feeding you negativity. Your prescription is for faith food. Feed your hopes, feed your dreams, feed your destiny. Quit feeding the insecurity. That's not on your diet. When you feed your value, your value will get stronger. I have some flowers in my backyard. One summer, it was very dry. The sprinkler system couldn't keep up. So every afternoon, I'd go out and water those flowers with my hose. 40 feet away over in the corner, there were a bunch of weeds. I noticed a few weeks later, all those weeds had died off. My flowers were just as beautiful as can be. What you don't feed will eventually die. You may have some weeds in your life today. We all do. Don't be alarmed by the weeds. Just don't make the mistake of watering the weeds. What you quit watering will eventually go away. If you came over to my backyard and saw me out there watering the weeds, you would think, what is wrong with that man? Are you watering what you don't want? When thoughts tell you nothing good is in your future, it's all downhill from here, instead of watering that weed, water what God says about you. Father, thank you that the path of the righteous, my path, gets brighter and brighter. Thank you that you've surrounded me with your favor. Feed your faith. I'm coming out. God always causes me to triumph. This too shall pass. Maybe you've had bad breaks in life and things haven't turned out the way you had hoped. Don't feed the self-pity. Quit reliving the hurts. You can't feed your history and feed your destiny at the same time. What's happened to you is over and done. How you were raised, who hurt you, who you lost, that's history. It may not have been fair, but God is fair. He knows how to make it up to you, but you have to let go of what didn't work out. If you're feeding the hurts, feeding the betrayal, it's just like you're watering resentment, watering bitterness. The way to get past it is you have to starve it. Quit thinking about what you didn't get, how you can prove to them that they shouldn't have left you. If you will put that same energy into your destiny, then God will give you beauty for those ashes. You don't have to pay anybody back. God will be your vindicator. The scripture says offenses will come, betrayals will come. It's painful enough when they happen, but if you make the mistake of feeding the fear, feeding the hurt, then it's going to continue to be painful. That's making it worse. It's tempting to hold on. Sometimes you wake up, it's on the forefront of your mind. You have to ask yourself, am I going to keep putting energy into something that's taken me the wrong direction? When you go through a loss, you don't have to be superhuman, but you can't let a season of mourning turn into a lifetime of mourning. Yes, I'm disappointed. Yes, I'm hurt. But this is a new day. I'm not feeding my history anymore. I'm not dwelling on my disappointments. I'm putting my energy into my destiny. You may have had some disappointments in the past, but this is a new day. God is about to release His favor in a new way. Doors are going to open that you never dreamed would open. Now do your part. Keep feeding your faith. Stay on your diet. No more feeding doubt. No more mourning over what didn't work out. Don't use your energy to feed your history. Use your energy to feed your destiny.
Feel like I'm losing my mind Is everybody in the world blind? Please, Lord, give me a sign A sign I feel like I'm losing my mind Is everybody in the world blind? Please, Lord, give me a sign A sign I wanna be the greatest Everybody on the face shit I look around and feel like everybody is the fakest I make this Every day and I'm impatient Hoping one day I blow up from the basement Statement The top is so vacant I don't hear shit that I think is amazing Waiting for my day when I'm playing Sold out shows for a thousand faces Hey, Give me that crown Get in my way and you'll be put down It ain't your place all this my town If I want that shit then I'll get it right now I'm losing it The noose it fits Some loose shit A stupid myth You choose to live or choose to dip You choose to fight or lose your grip And lose a gift Oh I feel like I'm losing my mind Is everybody in the world blind? I'm losing my mind Is everybody in the world blind? Please, Lord, give me a sign A sign I feel like I'm losing my mind Is everybody in the world blind? Please, Lord, give me a sign A sign I wanna be the greatest Everybody on the face shit I look around and feel like everybody is the fakest I make this every day and I'm impatient Hoping one day I blow up from the basement Statement, the top is so vacant I don't hear shit that I think is amazing Waiting for my day when I'm playing Sold out shows for a thousand faces Hey, give me that crown Get in my way and you'll be put down It ain't your place, all this my town If I want that shit, then I'll get it right now I'm losing it, the noose it fits Some loose shit, a stupid myth You choose to live or choose to dip You choose to fight or lose your grip and lose
lose a gift or I feel like I'm losing my mind Is everybody in the world blind? Please, Lord, give me a sign A sign I feel like I'm losing my mind Is everybody in the world blind? Please, Lord, give me a sign A sign Yeah! There's no mercy in this world, just hunger, thirsty persons In different versions, each do what they, that shit worsens Why? Pull back the curtain and you'll see the different vermin We all have different burdens that all seem to cause disturbance Yo, so do me a favor, don't treat me like a neighbor Don't need the different flavors of your problems just to savor I've